right, so the first probe we're going to talk about for small ruminant ultrasound is your convex rectal probe. This is one of the most common probes people have on ultrasound, so it's a great probe to use transabdominally for small ruminants, but some of the techniques are going to be a little bit different. One of the considerations you have is getting this all the way up into the flank and being able to get pressure on. Just because of the curved nature of the probe, you're just going to have a little bit of a challenge to get this all the way up into the flank depending on the stage of pregnancy on those small ruminants. But things to think about is changing your frequency. So you're going to get a little bit higher quality image if you change your frequency to say 5. Um, what you will lose is some of the depth on that scan. So if you envision that this pregnancy, you know, on a 5 megahertz, you're going to be seeing a better quality image, but it's going to be a little shallower. Versus if you need to get that extra depth on a larger animal, you can drop that frequency to say 2.5 and, and get that extra depth out here. So that's one of the things I like to highlight about this convex rectal probe. The other thing to think about for small ruminants specifically is whether you're inside versus outside. In changing on your ReproScan gear, changing your IP on no matter which species you're doing, but changing your IP will help get you a brighter image, particularly on those bright sunny days. If you're inside and have nice shelter covering so you don't get any glare on your screen, IP image or IP of two or three is really handy. It's going to be a little bit darker of an image, but give you more shades of gray to look at. But if you're outside and you've got glare and it's just too much of a challenge, um, dropping that IP to one or two gets you a brighter image. That's one of those great settings just to know on the fly, hey, it's bright and sunny and it is a struggle to see. Just drop your IP. The range is zero to three. Like I said, the, the more true ultrasound image is going to be at three, but a brighter image is going to be down at zero or one. You just have to balance kind of what type of image look you want.